Hey guys, welcome back. Today on The Untidy Artist, I am doing a bonus fairy for my Fairy of the Month series. This was a series I started in 2019 with a December fairy, so this is kind of an extra little bonus. It has definitely been a strange year. Uh, one thing I have really enjoyed is doing these fairies each month. Um, it's been really fun. I have a really fun announcement for my next series for 2021. So stick around to the end to find out what that will be. If you haven't subscribed, please do. And if you enjoy this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Let's grab some supplies and get started. The first thing we're going to need is a flower. And the second I saw this beautiful silvery gray flower, I knew I wanted to do a fairy with it. And I thought it would be really fun for December. It's kind of not your traditional red and green. And I just thought it was so pretty. And then we'll need some thread. I've got some black I'll be using for her boots and some silver for some gloves and her top to her dress. And then I have this really soft, pretty fur yarn. Um, uh, we're only using a tiny bit of it, but I really liked this. It was soft and delicate and I thought it would work well for a fairy. And then to decorate our doll, I will be using some glitter and then this sparkly snow. It's a really lightweight plastic and is a little bit iridescent. And then this glitter that I'll be using is a thicker kind of chunkier glitter. Um, I got this at Michael's. They have a bunch of really unique fun glitters um, and I just thought this would be really pretty. And then as always, I grab everything that might work for my fairy as far as other embellishments go. This is a little piece of trim and some flowers and I didn't end up using any of these but with every fairy I kind of pull out everything that I might be using. I have some Mod Podge and a paintbrush. I've got my trusty glue gun set on low and a sharp pair of scissors and then obviously we'll need a fairy. So I take a wooden bead, a piece of floral wire and some embroidery floss for the skin and the hair and I twist it into a beautiful little doll. If you're new to making fairies, you'll wanna check out that basic fairy doll tutorial where I teach you how to make a basic fairy. I will link that below. Also, I have given this uh, fairy doll a different skin tone. I have a skin tone tutorial I will also link below. And then you can see I gave her some green hair. All of the supplies used in this tutorial will be linked below. Then I'm going to dress her. So starting at the waist, I wrap up right to underneath her arms and give her a little pair of shorts with the silver thread. And then I'm going to set her aside and pull apart my flower. Now you'll see there are tons of layers to this flower. It was big and full and fluffy, and I only ended up using a few of the petals. So this is obviously a flower that you could save and use for other fairy dolls. And so I kind of just layer them together in different ways until I get it the way I like it. I decided to use three of the bigger petals. I thought it was just elegant and really pretty with her top. And then once I've decided how I want them to lay, I'm gonna grab each petal and cut an X right into the center. And this will allow us to slide the petals up and around our doll's waist. So starting with the top layers, I'm gonna grab my doll and I'm going to slide the petals up and around her waist, kind of arranging them as I go. I want them to overlap nicely and not all sit right on top of each other because we want a really pretty full skirt. So you can see I'm just using three of those layers of the flowers and it gave me just the prettiest skirt. Then I'm going to take my glue gun and using tiny dabs of glue, I'm going to attach her skirt together. So once again, arranging those petals as I go so they lay really pretty and I do that in the front and in the back until I have her skirt in place. Then I'm going to give her some gloves. So I'm grabbing that same silver thread and I'm just going to wrap up and give her a nice pair of gloves. Um, I do have a glove and shoes tutorial. I will link that below. So here are her beautiful gloves and then I'm using the black to give her a pair of sassy boots. So that gloves and shoes tutorial will be linked below. And this is what we've got so far. Then I'm going to take my yarn and it's kind of a, just a furry soft yarn. I'm actually using this in an upcoming uh, dream catcher tutorial that I'm super excited about. So make sure you um, watch for that. Okay, so I'm, I just cut a piece of that yarn and I wrap it around her neck and obviously I've got a longer piece than I'll need. And then right in the back, I'm going to add a dab of glue 
and just attach that. I constantly flip her to the front to make sure that that fur is laying nicely. And then I'm going to wrap each side around her arms and glue it in the back. So we're kind of giving her this little fur shawl. So I arrange it and then once I've got it the way I like it, I'm gonna turn her to the back, add another dab of glue right underneath where we glued the top piece. And then I pull that yarn around, turn her to the front to make sure it's laying nicely and I just hold that in place. And once the glue has set, I grab my scissors and trim off that excess piece. This way you're not having to worry about cutting a piece that's too small or getting it the exact length you need it, you can kind of just decide as you're going. And then I do the same thing on the other side. So adding a dab of glue in the back, I flip her to the front, make sure it's laying nicely, and then I hold the yarn in the back until the glue sets, trim it off, and she's got this really pretty fur shawl. Now we're going to do her hair. So I, as always, I think the hair is probably the most tedious and probably the hardest part of the fairy doll. Um, you'll wanna work slowly. I always smooth the thread out, no matter what hairstyle I'm doing for my doll. So we're gonna take that thread, really smooth it out, and then I'm going to part it, and I'm going to tack it down on both sides with a small dab of glue. So smoothing it as I go, I take my glue gun, add a tiny dab of glue and just tack that down. We're actually going to pull it to the side and do a side fishtail braid. So I tack it down on both sides and then I'm actually going to put one more dab of glue right in the back just to hold that hair down. So tiny dab of glue, smooth that down. And then I'm going to cut, trim those scraggly little ends. We wanna be able to split the thread in half into two parts. So you'll wanna trim the ends off. And to make this a little bit easier, I'm taking this tiny elastic, pulling her hair over to the side to a side low ponytail. And we're not gonna leave this elastic on. It just kind of is gonna help hold the hair in place as we start the braid. So then I'm going to split the hair into two different sections. And starting on, one side, I'm gonna take a few strands of the thread from the outside and cross them over. And I'm going to go back and forth doing that to create a fishtail braid. This is um, actually a tutorial. If you guys want me to slow this down and show you uh, in more detail how I did the fishtail braid, let me know in the comments below because I'd be happy to do a tutorial for this hairstyle. So just taking a, little, um, a few strands from one side pulling them over to the other side, and I just keep going back and forth until I have my fishtail braid. Then I'm going to take my glue gun. I'm gonna put a tiny dab of glue to hold that thread together at the bottom so her braid doesn't come undone. You could also tie it off if you wanted. And we've just got this really pretty bohemian looking braid. I got serious Game of Thrones vibes from this hairdo. Um, and then I took the, th the silver thread, wrapped it around the ends and then trimmed off the scraggly ends of her braid. And this is what we've got. And I just think this turned out so pretty. I love the green with the silver. Then I'm going to take my Mod Podge and using my paintbrush, I'm going to put some of the Mod Podge right around her waist. And we're going to put that chunky silver glitter right around the, her waist. So I just paint down a little bit get a nice even layer of that glue on. And then I sprinkle over the glitter and press it down with my fingers to hold it in place. And I always make a big, huge mess when I do this. I've got that paper down below it so I can tap off the excess and save the rest of the glitter. And she's just, I just loved the pop of silver that that added right around her waist. Then I'm gonna take the snow and this, just I think is so beautiful. This is probably my favorite part of this fairy. Um, and here's a little close up of this. It's iridescent and sparkly and super lightweight. And it really looks like sparkly snow. So I took her petals and I dipped just the tips of the petals in my Mod Podge glue. And then I dipped them into that snow. And I did that all the way around all the layers at the bottom of her skirt. And then I grabbed that paintbrush and I went and I added some more paint 
or some more of the Mod Podge and added some more of that snow. And you guys were all set. I absolutely love how beautiful and elegant this fairy turned out. I think she's the perfect way to end what has been a very crazy year. And I hope you enjoyed this bonus flower fairy. So the uh, fairy of the month series I will be doing for next year is going to be gemstones. So I will be doing monthly birthstones um, starting with January. And I also am going to be doing a limited series of fairies from around the world. So those will just be sprinkled in maybe every other month. Um, I would love to hear your suggestions below as far as what countries I should start with. If you enjoyed this tutorial, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed, please do. That would be awesome. I appreciate your support. I want you all to know how grateful I am for you. Thank you for helping get me through this year. And here's to hoping that 2021 is calm and relaxing and peaceful and hopefully not as crazy as 2020. Thanks for watching. Happy New Year. And we'll see you next time.